He does! Huh! What? I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Oh, I'll finish you off. Yeah, I said it. Go on. Holy shit. The poison things one shot the... What? No. Yes? No. Are we getting trapped into something here? I feel like... I feel like this is going to backfire on me. Oh, did we? What? No. Enduring victory? Oh my, did I just, <laughs> I think I just beat him. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? Was that candle on a pile of... What? <laughs> what am I looking at? Okay, this guy's setting up a camera against a green screen, playing cards. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, what? I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny, transcend dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. Let's see what <laughs> okay. we got here. <laughs> these cards are so silky. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube, we'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bandog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come. Just cut out this part. Have we heard? There's been sounds that we've heard in the game that kind of sound like a phone. I wonder. Oops. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Oh, neat. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks. Oh, the, so. yeah, the mantis god is sick. Yeah, I, I fully agreed. I would pay a hundred bucks for that. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. I wonder if this is kind of like a Jumanji style and thing where like we get, we're getting sucked into the game. Blue Mage. Cool looking card but not going to be worth very much. All right, let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Ah, uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. I, have no, I don't, on, couldn't even tell you. I, who opens and reseals? I don't even know what we're doing here. Yeah. 
There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west? Uh, Could be the think, cabin location? I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. All right. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what was that card? Getting close. Can I? I. Th can I drag this? No. Think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of. Whoa. Massive. Oh, this skips well back. Close. Okay, hold on. Yeah. I want to see what card that is. Oh, it just says skeleton, and then there's the coordinates. Okay. Okay. This could be direct continuation from the from the previous clip because it kind of cut out there. All right. That's why you always bring okay. an extra battery, boys and girls. So we're thinking the Every battery time. died. You gotta come prepared. Okay. All right. This is it. So it's not the cabin. And now we dig. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But only one way to find out. I give it a 100% chance it's not a rock. Is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. Oh, cool. What? Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Same, brother. Honestly, same. 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 I don't even know. I don't, is this a different game? <laughs> like, I don't even know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, he's going to have to go buy one on eBay. This mask is kind of reminiscent. Wow, great video. This mask is kind of reminiscent of what the guy wears. Wow. And great then there's video. a little squirrel. Uh interesting. I wonder if this is maybe the guy in the cabin or something. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. That's cool, just like the actual title screen. Yeah, so far so good.
and then we're in the game. So, or maybe we're this guy, potentially? I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Is that... I do not celebrate often. I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please do be not be polite. Dig in. No, I'm good. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. <laughs> Stand right there. Look at the mushrooms growing out of his beard. Who gave you that? Oh, ho, snap! You absolute it. Whoa! Whoa, what the hell? Am I controlling this? Yeah. What is going on? We created his death card. Like he would do for us, right? Okay, this is... Okay, I see. You know how at the inside the cabin... I thought it was a front door, but it was like... You could think maybe lightning or something. It's this. Is there anything else in here? Ooh, dude, what the... So that's, okay, so when you start the game, you can't pick new game. You have to like continue. That's probably now changed. Oh, I don't like this. Oh no. Okay, so I'm in that corner. Huh. Am I... Am I? Uh... I bet you now. <laughs> that is so trippy. What is happening? Renewal? In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is until the day the scribes arrived. Looks like maybe crazy dude in the top right. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Dramora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Yeah, that's got to be our guy. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. What is going? What is this? Is this? What is this? Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. <laughs> uh. Okay. I guess these are based on those scribes that we saw. So this is probably the first person. This would be uh, Leshy, 3OP or PO3. A play on 3PO, I guess. And then the wizard guy. Mark my ambition. I mean, I feel like this one would make sense. Wouldn't it?
I don't know. I don't know. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of beasts. Oh, okay. Let's check each of these. PO3 and become the scribe of technology. Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magics. Grimoire and become the scribe of the dead. Oh, neat. So... That's our ambition. I don't know which one we should replace. The Scribe of the Dead sounds pretty cool, though. Cards were added to your collection. Okay. So that guy talking, am I to assume that we are him? Looks like this is split into the four scribe kind of areas, right? Bottom left, wizard tower, top left, technology, top right, uh, the cabin, and bottom right, the dead, the cemetery. You're here, marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced, though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. These or these? You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Piece of an epitaph. Does not hold a grudge. Eaten by a hungry dog. Does not hold a grudge. Did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing. Maybe a heated battle will help? Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? Tab. What? Is this like a whole different game after attacking skeleton perishes draugr can't be sacrificed when draugr perishes the creature inside is released so it's like the frozen thing At the end of the owner's turn grave digger will generate a bone zero three zombie two bones one one frankenstein five bones two two what if we just auto complete So it looks like we're able to get cards from all the different ones. Okay, hold on. You wish to trade. Um, pack containing one rare two common deathly cards and two common cards of any type. But I need whatever these are. Okay, so I can buy cards. We're still playing cards. <laughs> but now we're playing it on that floppy. Oh no, no, no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Oh shit, okay. So, wow, this is exactly the same. Marvelous, your first battle. Are you surprised to see me here? But you did select a starter deck. In order to play my cards, you'll need to collect bones. You gain a bone when... Why do your eyes glaze over? Hmm, marvelous. You already understand. My time as an insect was not a total waste. Wait, was she uh, stinky or whatever? Is that what's going on here? Here's the scales. Here's the bell. Uh, here's my bones. Skeleton's free. Attacks and then perishes. He's going to play a bone hound. And 
When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, Bonehound will move to that empty space. This costs a bone. I mean, I guess I have to play skeletons here. And these will create bones for me to then play against this thing. I think. What's the hammer for? I don't know. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. Yeah. Now he comes in, he deals me two, and now we're even. After attacking, the revenant perishes? Okay. So... I could use this guy just to absorb three damage. Then I could use a skeleton here to take him down a, a notch. And then I could follow up with this... I would still be a few bones short, but... Bone oh, frick. That's not what I wanted, really. Well, it's actually not that... Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, so what I, I... I guess what I wanted to do can still work. So I put this here, he should block back. Or jump back, yeah. Alright. So we're going to attack that. He's going to go down to two health. This is so bizarre. Gravedigger digs up a bone. Oh yeah, right. Alright, so that worked good. And then he's gonna leave. So now, same thing. I can go here. He's gonna attack. We'll dig up a bone. Uh, it should be able to last two turns. And then I can come in and kill this thing. Skeleton. Okay. So we're up to four. If I play this, we'll dig up two bones. This guy will tank the skeleton hit. Ah, oh, frick. I guess... Same idea. Because we're both we're going to get bones from both of these and that thing doesn't die. So that's fine. Okay. Now. Uh... He's going to come out and attack. Frankenstein will kill him. I should just balance the scales a bit here. We're going to basically trade one damage. Actually... Maybe I'll put it here so that we block that next damage. Oh, they're both going to perish anyway, so it doesn't matter. Actually, if I place it... <laughs> if I place it, it's going to take this... This guy's going to move and block it. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Now he comes out. We block. Gravedigger diggers up bones. That's good. Our Gravedigger goes. He goes. Oh, I took two from that? Yikes. Okay, I can finally kill this thing, though. So well, that's a bonus. Uh, maybe I'll play this first. Or do I want to save that? Maybe I want to save that. Because... Well, maybe I should play this first. This goes down here. Not gonna matter, because it's gonna it's gonna die anyway. Uh so I'm just I'm overthinking that. Let's do this. He leaves over to block, then I go here. He blocks. Hit the bell. He's gonna die. This thing spawns in on the following turn. Okay. Overkill damage. Oh! Oh! Overkill damage. Did you see that? Gravedigger digs up bones. A zombie. That was really close. We clawed that back. Okay, let's go, baby. 
What's nice here is you can see very cleanly what's going on. Capri sacrifice. When Draugr perishes, the creature inside is released. I can't play it anyway. Excess damage gets transferred into those things that we can spend. Dudes, this is nutty. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. You received a deathly card pack. At the end of the owner's turn... Oh yeah, okay. So I get all of these? Ghost ship. Waterborne. Also, it moves in the direction scribed here. And drops a skeleton in the old place. And then the skeleton does the one thing and perishes. The headless horseman's 13 bones. Also airborne. And it moves in this direction. Gravedigger digs up bones. Bullfrog blocks a flyer. And practice wizard... I don't even know how to... I don't even know what that is. Cards were added to your collection. I'm called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. Found a piece of an epitaph. It reads Sawyer Patel, 1702 to fall, 1778. I'm called Sawyer. So middle... Is that what she said? We need to figure out which one was her guy. Eaten by a hungry dog. Wait, what? I'm putting the epitaph pieces on? Oh, neat. Okay, hold up. I see. Uh. <laughs> what? Oh, so I'm guessing. Okay, but I, I need like a bunch of pieces. So these could be... Okay, so I guess based on what we learn about these different things that we fight. Please don't bark or beg. The middle stone marks my grave. Do not sniff or snarl. So we know that this is his. And if he says don't sniff or snarl, it's very possible that he's eaten by this thing. A hungry dog. So we could maybe place this on other stuff. And now we have other puzzles that we're solving. Yeah, this is really trippy. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Sifted through the bones, found a card pack. Deathly card pack. Let's go. Frankenstein, rare tomb robber. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Huh. Draugr, practice wizard. And Gem Fiend. If Gem Fiend's owner controls no Mox cards, Gem Fiend pair. What the? I don't... I don't know. Let's go to the deck thing here for a sec. Okay, so yeah, we pull from these other things. These are the wizard things, the gems. Okay. Uh, Autocomplete? Does that throw in any new cards? It did. Headless Horseman. Like, that's like a, that's a killer, right? Oh, you can go over. You can go over. Skeletons. They perish. I feel like these are nice to have, but they might not be lots of, like, might not be great value. The problem is, is that if you don't have them, the only way you're... Okay, so I don't think we should put the Bullfrog in. I don't know if I can sacrifice these guys if they're like, well, maybe the zombie. But I wonder if you can sacrifice skeletons. Yeah, you know what? There's only one way to find out. Um, Gravedigger generates the bones. We should use that to create bones. And I'll keep a skeleton to see if we can ever sacrifice that. But I guess who knows? Okay, this is super bizarre. Let me go down here. Another epitaph. Brought down by scurvy. Oh boy. You have no offering? Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's scurvy. There's, uh... Eaten by hungry dogs. Does not hold a grudge. I'm just gonna place these in. 
So I guess the second thing is um, their cause of death. And then, yeah. Man, this is really interesting. So I presume here it's kind of like... I don't know if we die, we have to redo everything, or if we just have to kind of solve all the problems, but... Whoa, we're playing a whole different game, but not. This is wild. Thank you, guys. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but now I need to know. We'll see you soon. Bye.